Just there. Let's play some legacy. This is a keep. Uh, kind of hope I draw a probe on turn one. Make it a lot easier to figure out what to do. I don't think I can mulligan this hand, really. Hmm. Probably just say go. Don't have a lot of information on this therapy right now. It's Wixis, indeed. Okay, Grixis control. So I didn't fire off the therapy on Toronto. I don't even know what I want to name yet. Let's see. All right. Not forcing that one. Hope to draw probe soon. Guess I just play death rate this turn. Still don't really know what I need to therapy yet. I guess I could therapy um, Leovold pretty safely. But then I get underground C. It's actually probably correct. This is not Legacy Ravager right now. Does it say it's still Legacy Ravager? I thought I changed the name. Pretty sure I changed the name. All right, anyways, my opponent has some cards that I should write down. That's weird. I thought the name said Grixis Control for Endo. Apologies. I'm pretty sure it did, actually. I'm not going to force that. Really want this to be a land. All right, I'm going to Snapcaster Therapy just hard cast. Going to get Volcanic probably. Gonna take the Colgan's command. I'm 
I'd rather keep the two on. Snapcaster, Force, Volk. Uh, Strixes are pretty good here. Strixen. Wixis. Yes, Dirtle Wars indeed. Wish I had Loyana the last to open my main deck for these types of situations, obviously, but not much you can do about it. So their hand is for snap. I think I let that go and just look for a removal spell. My turn. My goal is to just not cast Force of Will, if at all possible. Alright, so... Yeah, it's pretty good for the matchup. I'm gonna ditch the Edict. I think it's pretty bad. Um, and I'm gonna just put another Force back. I don't want to cast two Forces. Let's up cook the fourth. I don't know what an Azo squid is. That frightens me. I'm supposed to get C, I guess. I'm gonna ponder looking for a bolt or a push. Uh yeah, the bolt is worth drawing another land, I think. I'm okay trading. What's up, everyone, on this Monday? Playing some Legacy Grixis Control. <laughs> Same whiskey, Jarvis. Yes, Death Rite Shaman did not get banned because it dies to Bolt. Going to play board games with your professors. That's kind of sweet. No, I do not want to buy white bordered shamans. Um, do I actually care? They just like. Hmm. Nah. Just gonna let it go. It's just a ponder. I'm gonna snap bolt on this Strix, I think. <laughs> we know that's why there was such extensive reasoning. Interesting. Assertion. Right, so I know my top card's bad, so I'm going to fetch bad lands off of this. Like, literally, we know the top card is a brick, so. We're going to Snapcaster. Actually, I might just cycle a probe first. Eh. Actually, I should just Snapcaster Ponder, I think. I am very anti-ban in general, St. Whiskey Jarvis, so, what's up Rosé? I basically do not want bans if you can have all avoid them. Put in pitch brainstorm. Oh, 
Well, I don't really have a board, so I'm actually going to force back. Because I think I need this to like, try to rebuild a board. Mm. Yeah, an explanation would have been nice. I agree with that. So, I think I'm going to do something that might look strange, which is I'm going to draw the Ponder, not cast it, and play the Pyromancer followed by Ponder next turn. The reason I'm doing that is to protect my guy from removal so I can get at least one elemental. What's up, Tannen? I'm generally just anti-ban in general. Uh, that's bad. That is bad news bears. They should fate seal here. This is very awkward for my plan because they will most likely bottom the Pyromancer. And now I'm left with Cabal Therapy plus... Um, Ponder, which is not great. In any case, we have to cast the Ponder now. It's basically a forced play. I think I'm supposed to shuffle here. None of these cards actually do anything. That doesn't really do anything either. I think I'm going to lose to this Jace, unfortunately. Um, the hope is to hope they overcommit and we draw Bolt as well. But Bolt's not even that good, like, it's kind of awkward. Nah, I think, yeah, maybe I was supposed to draw that Ponder, I guess. I generally shuffle in those situations, but maybe that was wrong here. Yo, Tannen, thanks for a follow, bro. In any case, we are unfavored now, which sucks. Hmm. Yeah, shuffle is right if mana is tight. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> you can never watch when I'm on. Yeah, that's fair. Ah, uh, something bad's gonna happen. I'm not sure what. Um. Alright, that's gonna do it. That's just way too much to handle. Um, I'm going to take these out. I'm going to side this in. I'm actually going to side in Blood Moon because, like, that might seem weird since I'm also a three-color deck. But the reality is, Blood Moon's actually good versus Pile if they're not prepared to play against it. Which I believe is going to be the case. I'm going to side in Lava Mancer as well. Don't like Thoughtseize that much in this matchup. Question is, do I want Spell Pierce? Uh, St. Whiskey Jarvis. It's listed on my page, but thing is, I've been busy a lot of Wednesdays now, so that's sort of outdated. And I think Team Vintage Super League will also take up some of my time, so it's sort of erratic, but Monday, Monday evenings are pretty reliable, Eastern time. Uh, in any case, do I want Dead Gone? Deluge, Fluster Storm, or Spell Pierce. I kind of hate having Deluge. I don't think it's that great. Um, I'll be at Baltimore Tannen. Oh, I go to basically most of the Grand Prix. I'm going to Grand Prix Columbus instead of SCG Atlanta. 
it's kind of awkward that all of those events are on the same weekend, but you know, is what it is. I will also be at the Team Grand Prix in Washington, D.C. I played Affinity in Hartford. I think this is fine. Do I want explosives or thoughtsies or dead gone or the soft counters? I don't think I want those. So I'm just going to try this. <laughs> You're right. Washington DC is really far to travel for us, Jacob. I think I keep, I mean, if I draw any fetch, I can just lock them out of the game and they'll be pretty good. So I'm going to death right and hope it doesn't get killed, but like, I don't think you can mulligan in this hand. Like the hand's actually good. Okay. All right. I will fetch, do I fetch Island? Probably Island. Um, this is an interesting dilemma. I have one double black spell and one double blue spell, but Iwan lets me cast off my cantrips. Chandra's been excellent because it cannot be pyroblasted. I chose to get Iwan, not sure if that's right, but... Um, I think their deck is reduced to two basics and whatever red cards are in their deck. I also ate the land out of the graveyard. Uh, that's kind of awkward, but... Uh, if I hit two more land drops off the cantrips, it's fine. I'm going to lead with Ponder now because getting Brainstorm locked would be awful. So I just want to Ponder in two lands. Uh, those are not what I want, so I shuffle. Okay, there's land number one. Another land means I can just flame tongue the death right. Mm -hmm. Probably I'm supposed to cast brainstorm because it's three looks for a land. All right, so we can put. Those two on top. The brainstorm's actually pretty bad. And I want to hide the Chandra in case that they actually have, like, you know, some random. I can't even think of what they could have that would punish me, but. Next turn, I'm going to go Chandra plus Ponder Shuffle. So I won't have to redraw the brainstorm. Or I could. Sorry. I could. Okay, nice. All right, that was a nice uh, sack you out with Blood Moon game. Actually, do I want Dead Gone for the death rates? I'm not sure. Maybe I do want Deluge on the draw. I'll have one Deluge on, in my deck on the draw and shave. I'm not sure what. On the draw, you like Dead Gun too? We didn't see an Angler, but like it doesn't mean they don't have it. I wonder if I'm supposed to take out two Blood Moons on the draw. As weird as that sounds. Who have Dead Gun if they have a Delta Threat? 
Maybe I'm supposed to just have the Blood Moons in my deck regardless. I'm going to try siding out some of the therapies on the draw um, with the theory that you can't actually spend your time dirtling when you're on the draw. And so I'm like more top deck good, I guess is the right way to put it. My top decks are basically always alive. Thanks for the follow, Omnibian. I like that card. Turns things into 3-3 three, three frogs. I recall correctly. Okay, so this is an interesting hand. I think I keep again, but the question is how do I want to play it? So I can get... I guess we'll see what happens, but I don't think you can mulling this hand. It's like not insane. And this is, this is like a reason that I think Blood Moon's weaker in the draw. Once we punk them out like that in game two, they're more likely to just aggro fetch basics. There was certainly like, we certainly got them in game two real good, but they chose not to shuffle. All right. All right, so Swamp Island and those fetches can get whatever. The punker has become the punky. Yeah, maybe. Hmm, that's interesting. Why did they get Badlands? I'm just going to say go. I'm not going to even use the bolt. The plan next turn is to play Blood Moon. I still have to play Blood Moon next turn, which is kind of nice. I wasn't going to cast the bolt there, I think, ever. Um, what's up, Bara? We're playing Grixis Control, and we're in a post-board game for his four-color pile, so that's why Bud Moon is in my three-color deck versus the four-color deck. I kinda do want to draw a land. Alright. I guess I have to get a non basic now, which kinda sucks, but whatever. It's also costing me a lot of life points to do this. Yep, four color pile. Okay, anyways. Our hand can operate actually pretty effectively. I kind of want them to slam another creature so I can get a clean two for one with Deluge before playing my Pyromancer. This is why I didn't play the Pyromancer on turn two. I was planning for a scenario where they just deploy a bunch of creatures and, you know, hope I get somewhat ahead or uh, get slightly behind, I guess. So the question is, do they have Fluster Storm for the Deluge? I don't really see how I could beat that. So I think I'm supposed to just slam the Deluge for two. And then next turn have a great follow up.
I also think it wasn't that likely that they had uh, Fluster Storm in their deck versus me. So now this turn I can go Pyromancer, Probe, Angler, and we're in pretty good shape. It's not great. All uh, right, it doesn't. That's the one that doesn't actually save it in this stupid zone, which is annoying. So if they play Jace, hmm. I could actually just play Angler, doubling away most of those things, and just force a Deluge for five. Then I have a Pyromancer follow up with. If they Deluge, they also can't cast most of their hand. So I think I'm going to do that. This might be a little bit questionable, but it's OK. Um, actually, yeah. Yeah, that's what I said for Ando. I was thinking about it for a while, but it, this this is, I think, pretty obviously the best play. Then I can draw like almost anything off the top and it's good. What's up all 51 of you on this Monday morning? We're playing Legacy Grixis Control. Courtesy of one Wilson Hunter. Yeah, that's true. I could have waited on the second probe. That might have been right. Oh, interesting. It's not the play I was expecting. I guess that makes sense too, actually. We did tap mana for the second probe. Yo, Min, thanks for the resub. Need a good draw right here. We know their hand is. No, I said good evening. Um, their hand is Jace Snapcast Turd. Deluge. Jason Snapcaster Deluge. Really need to draw something good. Okay, just like. Yeah, this is the part of these mirrors I hate. Only drawing probe and no like ponders is kind of awful. Preordain might actually just be better in some regards. Like in these Blood Moon situations, Preordain is actually pretty nice. I didn't play the Pyromancer out because like it just sets up very clean deluge for them. That would prefer to not happen. I guess I have to force the issue next turn. I can't even attack with these though. 
because he just blocks with the death rate. So. This sucks. This is also like, this is basically the example of where Blood Moon is not really good enough when they're on the play. Okay. It's kind of weird. It seems like they've given up on this Deluge being a good plan. I don't know. Like, this is actually giving me more time to get out of this, I think. I'm not going to play this one, I think. Um, I'll just force the issue. But we're going to need to draw something good. I guess this is why you can't actually side out Cabal Therapy, because it's just so good in spots like this. And that might have been a mistake. <laughs> if you think Min's going to play that Grand Prix, you're sorely mistaken. <laughs> it's a team limited Grand Prix. Yeah, I think we're mostly dead this game, which sucks, but. Say la V. I don't really understand what's going on. Like, like yeah, this was actually pretty likely to happen. Um, I'll do it during their upkeep. Actually, that doesn't even make sense. I should just do it now. Um, so I can attack with the elementals. Making, him, making them discard a card is not that great, but killing the death rate is actually great because it cuts them off of um, the second blue for your Jace. <laughs> yes, I start speaking French when things go poorly. I really think we should have been very dead this game, actually, but... Apparently we're not. I would expect an... It yeah, I don't actually understand what's going on in this game. I feel like we should be ultra dead, but somehow we're not... I mean, I think we're still going to lose, but... <laughs> this one should return... Death right. Deal me too, I guess? sense all right we need to draw have I drawn a snap nah there's only two snaps in the deck so it's hard to draw a snap I'm gonna cycle probe for mana because I'm at five, which is not really a healthy life total. 
All right. 2x him, 2x chase, deluge. Really wish I had therapy in my deck still, but I don't. So the problem is, and this is actually a pretty big problem, is they can go Deluge for five plus adjacent the same turn. And that's actually like an enormous problem. But I think I have to force out that scenario, I guess. It's pretty awful. Like, I can literally pinpoint to us having lost because our opponent has, well, was on the play, got to fetch two basics, and also got to cast two ponders. I feel like it is what happened. Because that just allows them to have drawn better. And it's not like not even, the lucky part was drawing the ponders. Nothing else was lucky about it, frankly speaking. Okay. Okay, I probably would just plus on the opponent. So that's a good point, Autumn Lily MTG. I think preordained might be better, but I just took the guy's original list, Wilson Hunter, and played it because I asked him to send me the list. We are so dead. It's like unbelievable how dead I am. It's actually just unbelievable. It's not even like very good. I guess I cast it still like... I don't really understand what the opponent's doing like Kind of feels feels like they're doing things at random. So if I attack with all six of my creatures at that, what happens? This box here, this box here, this box here. Alternatively, I'm at five, so I don't think they have lethal, but so I'll just, I guess I have to remove the Jace. It's just so awkward if I don't. Yeah, they score a free elemental kill, but, like, can't do anything about that. My hand is so bad that, like, I just have to do things like this. This turn, they will probably deluge for one and then play Jace, and then I'm, like, completely screwed, but I can't do anything about that either. Interesting. That's not a normal card for that deck to have. Well, actually, I guess they normally have one, but. Okay, you got my lands. <laughs> Don't really have anything else. So now I'm going to get, now I'm going to just get crushed so bad. What's up, Chifley? They lead from one. It's one of the best day just I've seen in my life. Opponent's hand is him and Jace now. Okay, well that's a start. I guess the problem is they're just gonna him me no matter what next turn. So I actually think I'm going to draw the death rate first and then probe into the pyroblast on Jace next turn. 
They might just Jace unsummon, which is fine. Well, as fine as it can be. The problem is the death rate. I'm at five, so the death rate is nearly lethal as well. <sighs> yeah, I don't know if this matchup is actually good. Cast Cruel Ultimatum, please. I only have six lands. That's not doable. It's literally not doable. This sucks. Probably dead, but... Yeah, I mean, him is bad for us no matter what. The problem is our opponent's hand was actually really good versus us, so I couldn't do very much about anything. Like, there was almost nothing I could do about anything. Okay. I hate to tell you, Autumn, and I'm sure you actually know this, Ancient Tomb is really not very good at casting Cruel Ultimatum. Anyways, we are basically dead this game. Alright, alright, alright. We're actually just dead now. That was unfortunate. But, you know, there's four more matches at least to play. Oh, oh nice. Uh, yeah, we went on vacation, so I guess that's why it didn't get published. All right, we're 0-1 with this deck, but you know, that 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 game should have presented the issue of why Blood Moon isn't so good when you're on the draw. I mean, you all saw what happened. It wasn't really that good right there. Victor Fefe. All right, I keep. Uh, the question is, what do I want to do on turn one? I guess it depends on what I draw and what my opponent does. Boil Underground Sea. Hello, Prince Edward Island fam. All right, now I think... I think I'm just gonna fetch C. I don't get stifled. I haven't played against this. This sucks. But I'm gonna force the stifle. I didn't obviously like if I knew they had stifle, I would play differently. But I have to force that stifle there, I think. Um Still going to get an underground sea, even though I th like they're actually a lock to have wasteland in their deck once you see stifle. Mm, these cards are good enough to keep, I think. You don't say, Prince Edward Island fan. You don't say. Okay. Well, the problem is, if you have enough fetches, you can. But I did not have enough fetches. All right. So they can daze this. Okay. This is a very peculiar hand. This is not actually what I'm expecting when my opponent goes like that.
so I don't understand why Stifle and Tassiga are in the same deck, but that's a different story. Uh, in any case, what do I do now? I think I'm going to th um, fetch, because I know, do I know my top card anymore? Don't. Take his threat away. Hmm. Not thrilled about that because I can actually kill the threat fairly easily. I'm actually going to therapy fatal push, I think, off of a C. The reason to take Fatal Push is that it's the easiest card for my opponent to leave up. What is your subscription notification? I don't know. Thanks for the resub though, Sean. I hope they don't have another Wasteland. Um, but I can't do anything about it either, so there's that. Okay, well, we'll cast that. I just want to clear out all of their other stuff. Alright, now I'm going to take the Tasker because I don't have a guaranteed land drop. Nice. All right, they can kill one of these. I have to play them out one by one and just let them get killed. <laughs> uh, Sean, come on, keep it, keep it respectful, bro. Keep it respectful, please. No, no. Alright, fetch. Alright, great. Basic mountain. I guess that's not the worst, but it's not great. 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 He has a nice basic mountain, Wilson. I feel like something bad's gonna happen to us. Alright. I am confused. This is going really just not very well. This is not a Delver deck. That's the answer. We're gonna bolt that one. We're at three. We need to draw a black source. Hope my opponent doesn't have stifle and hope the death rate also dies. Basically dead to almost anything they could have except lands. All right, well, that was a cool game. I drew four cards that should be banned. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so on the play, I do like Blood Moons in this matchup. Mm. 
I didn't take sides with anyone, Sean, come on. Bara, that sucks, man. It really sucks, actually. In any case, uh, Joe Cool at the supermarket. I'll play it very briefly for you, Sean. Listen anywhere, anytime. Oh. Stupid ads. Show you the video very briefly. Very <laughs> joke hates caviar. All right, I need to go back to sideboarding. All right, thanks for the sub, Sean. I appreciate it. Um, now I'm gonna think. Happened. Where did the fluster storm go? Oh, and there it is. Um, I actually have. Nah, I like the flusters versus stifle, actually. Alright, I can keep. This hand's insane. I could never mull in this hand again. But I do have to get underground sea off of this. <laughs> you know they appreciate it. Thanks, Sean. Oh boy. Boy, a Delta. All right. I am actually going to wait Pyromancer this turn instead because my opponent played Delta. <laughs> Thank you, Prince Edward Island fan. Show me the secrets, please. I hope they like daze this or something. Ship a daze. Ship a daze. Okay. That's fine. Okay, oh, your brain's going delta, start from drop. One, two, three, four, five, six. We draw a card. What's Joe Cool? Do you actually not know what Joe Cool is? Or are you trolling? I can't even tell by this point. Um, yeah, I'm gonna attack. Get in that point. Get in that point, bruh. All right, just tap out for some mopey whatever. I don't even know. Oh, actually, this is probably getting decayed, right?
This guy, I mean, this potential guy, I don't know. Our opponent likes to leave up Stifle, that's true. I probably would not leave up the Stifle, I think. That is awkward. Bayou in their hand. Bayou, Brainstorm, Delta, Stifle. Yeah, I don't think leaving up st Stifle when you're that far behind is a good idea. It's going swimmingly. Alright, nice. Let's get in some beats. No troll so loud. It's fine. This game would have looked a lot different if I had just jammed. I probably was supposed to jam, unfortunately, but... All right, I'm going to push that EOT. Mark, it was good. It wasn't, like, insane, but it was good. It's a lock to have spell uh, stifle in their hand still. I hope I get to punish them. All right, I'm gonna offer the trade. It's actually a pretty good trade for me, I think. I'm gonna play around days and delve my land and most of my graveyard away. Most likely need to bolt at some point. I mean, it doesn't really matter whatsoever. Okay. Hope you have a stifle in your hand. Okay. I don't think you have forcible in your deck anymore, but if you do, all the more power to you. How do I always get Wasteland to doubt when there's like four basics in my deck? I guess it's because I had to fetch Underground Sea off of that. I didn't really have an option. Like I'd drawn one fetch land. Wilson, we got killed by Pile in round one. We're down a game because this guy has, or our opponent has, Stifle on their deck. Um, I guess this can trade with that, so that's fine. Fairly certain my opponent still has Stifle on their hand. <laughs> Thanks for the five bits.
The mountain has not been good. That's one way of putting it. Okay. Well, that's better. I'm going to offer the trade still. Don't spend it all in one place. I'll try not to. They should gain two, I think. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna keep attacking for two. I believe the mountain is so you can cast removal spells versus Delver, but you can ask Pack Run Fat Seven. By the way, I'm not cracking the fetch to play Bloodman because I know my... Well, I don't know for sure, but I'm fairly certain my opponent has Stifle in their hand. Um, because they had Stifle a while ago. <laughs> One of your favorite parts about this deck is the basic mountain. Well, it's certainly not good here. Something. I think I'm going to spell Pierce just to make a token. Yeah. I'm kind of aligned. That's, that was my read too. Wilson, just answer the darn question. Alright, so this turn if I draw a fetch, I can overload the stifle. Okay, I guess I can't. If they have two stifles in their hand, I guess I get caught, but I'm still going to go for it. Drunken fan. Jeez, why have the in jokes gone so far? In any case, I don't think they have anything to deal with this blood moon, so we'll eventually win. It'll take a while. I don't have good attacks, unfortunately, but they're reduced to a death rate currently. So we should be favored here. I mean, if I can't win from here, I think the deck is probably just not great. I'm going to play a second Blood Moon in case if they somehow have like, eh, I guess they couldn't actually have much, but I feel like casting in Brainstorm is just bad. I'm not going to EU for either of those Log T1, unfortunately. I think I'm going to lead. Let's ponder. Don't actually want to draw any of these, they don't do anything. Nice. Still have no good attacks. Actually, I can play versus Miracles and Stolen Mentor. That's kind of gas. Second death rate. So, fortunately, that's bad for us. All right, I have to brainstorm first, I think. <laughs> I 
it's a good question. Why is Barra not streaming if he has Ashiok in his deck? All right, so next turn we can do some things that are kind of cool and hope we don't get caught. Actually, there's a chance I was supposed to put this on top of my deck instead of the other thing. Well, so what this K command is going to do is it's going to kill this death right and return our Pyromancer. Making them discard cards in this scenario is horrible. So. But that's our current plan. <laughs> Hallowed Spirit Keeper. Oh, jeez Louise. That card is great, though. It's a funny card. But I chose not to shuffle. Interesting. True. I'm going to take out the spell pierces for game three. Yeah, how it's Spirit Keeper is really hard for this deck to deal with if I had to imagine it. Hmm. Alright, well I'm still going to main phase this. The reason I main phase it is that um, it taps the death right if he wants to counter it, so I get in a bunch of damage. Okay, nice. Alright, how should I actually sideboard? I'm going to take the spell pierce out on the draw. Oh, I should have had a Lava Mancer in my deck. And dead gone. That was a punt. I'll shave. What should I shave on the draw? These therapies don't seem great on the draw. I'm not sure I'll have a moment to like actually use them to... Oh, I should have explosives. Uh, explosives versus stifle is pretty bad. Maybe I have two therapies in then. Two therapies, I think. I should have had dead gone in my deck last game though. It's also possible I need force versus stifle, but like it's just such a bad rate. I don't know. Kind of just think we can fight fair in this fashion and hope it's good. And just try to wait out. Like, the trick to Stifle is you're actually supposed to wait it out, but that only works if you draw, like, three plus lands. Um, we weren't really in a position to do that in the first game. And this game, well, this game, we killed them with Blood Moon, essentially, but... Eh, I don't know. I think Wilson is probably better at playing this deck than I am. I'm not super in love with it currently, but, you know, maybe it's better than I think it is. Like, I don't know. This hand is not great, so I'm going to mulligan. This hand's capable, so I'll keep. Well, I guess that makes it better. Are you 
can discard the basic mountain with deck. Uh, I'm actually going to lead with Death Raid because of a potential like removal spell plus wasteland would be backbreaking. Okay, nice. The Death Raid didn't die. There's the wasteland. Yo, thanks for follow P4UM. Hmm. Do I think my opponent still has Stifle in their deck? How do I want to play this? I think I just go fetch go actually. I'm just gonna try to wait out the stifle. All right, I I am barely convinced my opponent has a stifle in their hand. Okay, nice. That's actually pretty good. I think I'm just going to let my opponent stifle me now if they want to. It's not even that good anymore. Like, you can stifle me. I don't really care now. They never have to stifle. Yeah, about that. I was pretty sure my opponent had the stifle here. I don't think this deck looked like your deck from Pro Tour Rivals. I don't really understand what's going on now either, frankly speaking, but my opponent probably has days in their hand. Which means I shouldn't cast anything this turn. But I do want to draw both of those. Yeah. Again for one. Always get those damages in. Actually, I don't think it's actually possible for them to have days. Almost if they drew it on turn two or three. Because they would have dazed the death rate on turn one. If they didn't have a play. So they're discarding now. Some of our sequencing is loose. How so? You'd like, please explain. I stifle. Played Affinity in Hartford. Interesting. Uh, thanks for follow Kaima Lion. And just put these two back. I'm actually going to name Toxic Deluge now because I don't really care about almost any other cards. Like, I think the board is too developed for almost any other card to get our opponent out of this. Well, it could help if I could spell it right. Kaboom! Nice hand you got. It's 
So I can fetch on their upkeep and force them to stifle then, which I'm fine with. Yeah, opponent kept her greedy hand. I think that hand's a pretty easy mulligan. Uh, do I want to attack with this one? Yeah, I think I do, actually. Just play another death rate. I don't know who my opponent is, so I think it would be pretty hard to ghost them. But there's just like so few cards you care for, about from a bug deck in this position. My opponent can certainly fetch twice to abrupt decay one of my permanents. Then I'll bolt them off Volcanic Island. I'm still waiting for Wilson to say what I actually did wrong. <laughs> Wish I had a second Badlands right now, actually. It's also possible I was supposed to flashback the therapy, except I didn't want them casting the Tombstalker. Wow. I think that play is really bad. I <laughs> didn't measure basic mountain, crucial mistake. You're right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight showing because presumably they have to waste Battlelands, otherwise it's the full 10. Okay, you successfully did not do arithmetic on the current board of 10 damage on the board. <laughs> You're gonna fall asleep in the stream. Thanks for watching, Bara. Hope you have pleasant dreams. All right, we're 1-1. One, one. Lost round one to pile. One, round two versus Sultai Stifle Delver, I guess. I don't know what's really going on there. Haven't seen a version like that in a while. Playing against D Neely now, which probably means Maverick. Sans. Good. Question is, how do I want to play it? I don't even know, like, I might just say fetch go because I don't even know what I need yet. Looks awful lot like Maverick. That is a hideous, hideous card. I think I have to get a non-basic because I have so few ends. Now we know what we need. Um, do we just draw the death right? I guess I can probe. Hmm. It's kind of annoying because I want the death rate and the land, I think. All right. I 
think I'm actually supposed to only take the death rate and shuffle with it. Just play the death rate this turn. Is what I've decided. Caracas. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I was supposed to take the probe. You're right. Because it's plus one card for the angler. Oh well. Do I force this Jace? Or uh, this Thalia? I guess I kind of have to. Yeah, I will. So I can play the angler and leave stuff in my graveyard to drain. This is a pretty fast clock. Oops. One, two, three. I guess I leave Volt. Leave the Volt then. All right, so seven, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. No second Thalia, please. Well, that's bad too. Hmm, hope I draw therapy right here. Therapy would be the best draw. So fi. That's okay too. <laughs> this chat makes you realize why I have this hidden. You don't say. Alright. That's pretty good. Name sort of very nice. Tracker Knight. Hmm. Tracker Knight. Gite. It's pretty brutal, actually. Yes, supposed to tracker knight GT points at thirteen. I have to get the GTA, I think, and try to swarm around the Stoneforge. If I attack with all three, all four of these, what happens? Box one takes four, goes to nine. Well, I mistapped assuming I didn't draw I guess the therapy made it so I should have tapped Volk. Yeah. 
This hoe is pretty bad. I'm going to attack with all of these. If he wants to block there, that's fine. Absolutely fine with that. But this was a far more likely outcome. Well, Stoneforge is not so scary when I therapy both the equipment and the hand. Opponent's hand is Tracker and Knight. So the plan was to just get really aggressive and try to win before anything really bad happens. Yeah, like that is sort of bad. I guess it's not that bad, but it's not great. So I just want to lava spike by attacking with all four of these. Whoops. Box one goes to seven. I can drain for two. I needed to cast the Pyromancer pre-combat in case if he got like maniacal and just decided to waste my volcanic inside of combat. So we're gonna exile brainstorm, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Well, I'm not using the attack with all option because I don't want to attack with this one. Oh, you mean attack with all of these? Okay, that's fair. So we drain, they play knight. What's on the five? I know my top card is, my top card is Brainstorm. Green Sun for one. Okay. So now what happens when I attack with all? Well, the ban was already announced, so I do not believe it's getting banned this time around. So they block those two. Take two. It is nice of my opponent not to wasteland me ever, I agree. So what happens if I attack with all of these? They block these two, take two, go to three. Then I drain, then I drain. Okay, very well. This was an interesting game. Some good old fashioned racing scenarios, essentially. Prince Edward Island fan, they're ahead of us on time. No, I would rather turn off a of fetch, Matt's. In any case. This seems good, this seems good, this seems good, this seems not so good. This is good. Um, this is okay. Well, Joe Cool, I don't know who you are because you've never revealed your identity, so feel free to do that. <clears throat> um, in any case, what do I want to do? Do I want oh, I want this ancient grudge probably?
God damn it, Wilson. Okay, what what else do I cut? Verse what appears to be stock maverick. Might cut an angler. I think this card is kind of bad versus them actually. That's what my gut told me. Leave Mountain to play around choke. All right, I'm gonna keep. Sounds pretty good. This hand I'm gonna fetch as many basics as I can. Um, okay, great. We can play that one first, then. Basic Mountain to play around joke is great. We also have Basic Swamp and not Basic Island. Here comes a plow. OK, it's fine. Hmm. Do I even want to play the Pyromancer here? OK, well, now I do. It was actually a question if I didn't draw another Pyromancer, whether I should play it or not. But now that I drew a second one, I should definitely play the first one. All right, come on, Wilson. Cut, cut your trolling out, please. I think I'm going to play Pyromancer, Fetch, and play Ponder. Yo, what's up, Magician5? Currently one and one. Ooh, a Jace. Yes, I would like to keep that one on top of my deck. Look, I'm kind of sick of everyone trolling in the chat. Wilson, not just you. But thanks for everyone being here. Grixis is not broken. It is a good choice, but it's not a broken deck. I'm probably also the one least likely to think it's a broken deck. Alright, sure. All right. You showed... Showed who was boss there. So now I basically have to kill that. This is actually hard now. Yo, Corey, thanks for the follow. So, we know they have a Sofi in their hand. The options are, well, we can't really let them untap with Mother of Runes, which is the problem here. I could cast Brainstorm first, looking for a Deluge, which might actually be the best play. I'm gonna Brainstorm first. If we Brick, we can still, uh, that's actually pretty good. So now I'm going to Colgan's command, killing Mother Runes and making them discard. Uh, and we just put two duels back. Vedex plays a lot of legacy, like a lot. Actually, I could just return my Pyromancer, which might be sweet. might actually be better because the next turn yeah this is actually way better just 
Just making them discard a card is not terribly exciting. Okay, I guess that's a nuisance. All right, so I'm gonna Pyromancer, then Therapy Sophi off Badlands. Repelming all the death right decks. That's fair. I think we are not favored here, though, unfortunately. Gideon Tracker. Jeez. Uh, probably have to get that Gideon out of here. Tracker we can theoretically kill with one of our removal spells, but that Gideon's going to be borderline unbeatable if they ever draw a land. Vedex plays a ton of Legacy. Yikes. Second Stoneforge. Don't love that. GTA. Okay. Um, this guy sucks. <sighs> Ved ten. Well, actually, I should actually cast it looking for a death rate. Yeah, that's the plan. Sucks. I'm still going to ponder looking for a death rate. Nice. It's actually pretty good. So I can therapy tracker and then play death right next turn. out hope you draw poorly now he's gonna equip I'm gonna do grudge things are turning up okay I can just leave up the grudge basically forever, which is a great part about it. So, XOILA22, hello from Portugal. Should attack with both, I think. So I don't know their last card, but it's fine. Ah, well, that's cute. Trasani, Hartford was okay. I want 11 and four with affinity. Actually, value the double block more, I think. <laughs> I 
It's Taxilla. <laughs> that nah not affinity for planes affinity for well i technically had no affinity creatures in my deck is the actual answer i think i'm gonna blood moon this guy in the play Green is the worst color in Magic. Mm, I don't think that's necessarily true. I think to say that is a very weird perception of how Magic works. Alright, I'm not going to use the EOT push. Because if I draw Deluge, I would rather use Deluge. So I really want to draw Deluge. All right, Deluge. All right, no, I have to kill the Mother Runes then. Yes, everyone keep trolling to a minimum. Most of your troll is funny, but most of you do not have funny trolls. All right, getting killed. What's well, something they could have in hand? There's like almost nothing, I think. Oh, they could have another Gideon, so I'll name that. Oh no, they can't even really have that. Their hand is probably just a land, right? Well, actually, it could be Swords of Plowshares. Yeah, that's unlikely. But it, it, it was almost certainly a land there, no matter what. So. Thank you, Joe Cool fan. All right, so I think I have to block. So I get a five, drain, drain. Mm. Yeah, I have to block. Otherwise, deluge for two is not even an out. Because if I go to four and deluge for two, they just drain me with death right. So I actually have to play, I have to block there. I don't believe that you have a fantastic image for me. Also, that's going to kill me. Great. That was an annoying game. I'm going to side in Blood Moon on the play. I think I'm just going to take these thought seizes out and um, just play to win on the board. Therapy is good enough because it's good versus Stoneforge. But, you know, the rest of that didn't play out great. The choke was actually somehow backbreaking enough to kill me, even though I didn't think it was going to be. I guess when the death ray got plowed, it is what turned it around. Oh, this hand's great. I'm gonna lead with that, obviously. Come on, like Zenith for Arbor or something, please. That's not what I wanted. It's really like the opposite of what I wanted. Um, I 
Yeah, I was hoping for Mother of Runes or Dryad Arbor or Birds of Paradise or Noble Hierarch. Plow was not one of the things I wanted. I'm not using the probe here because it has value with Pyromancer later. Well, actually, I guess if I draw Pyromancer off the probe, do I want to cast it? Or should I just save the probe for therapy? Probably I'm supposed to save the probe. So I will. Probably Thalia here or some horse crap like that. All right, I'm gonna edict that. I think all Badlands Probe, mainly because I want to find removal in case they have another er, follow-up creature. I'm going to pay life because if I draw a Ponder, I want to cast it for sure. I see. Arbor, Excavator. Bayou, Bayou, Waste. That's kind of awkward actually, but we'll see what they do. I think I'm just going to start ticking up the uh, Liliana. Unfortunately, I have to get another duel here. And it can't be Badlands. So I have to get C. But we're basically, basically going to play defend the Liliana until it emblems and kills our opponent. have arbor okay so that was a new draw they have arbor excavator bayou bayou okay i'll attack with pyromancer because if they block i can plus on it. Or actually, I shouldn't even attack, I think, right? I shouldn't attack. It forces them to have removal if I don't attack. Now I'm going to start playing fetches out because they have wasteland recursion. I'm going to just start killing all my duels. Or fetching a bunch. <laughs> Dearest. <laughs> I don't think that's ha likely to happen, frankly speaking. Oh, it's an O2. I'm an idiot. No, I should have attacked. Just forgot for a sec. <sighs> yeah. I was supposed to deal with my opponent two damage. Life, the life matters too, quite a bit actually. Won't oh, miss another attack.
Okay. It's pretty good. So what do I want to do? Probably draw the brainstorm. Just say go. You can take it nice and easy. I don't even really care about this excavator all that much. Okay. Don't even know what I need yet, so I'm not going to use the brainstorm yet. Okay. I can plus on that and deluge for five to save myself one life point, which I will do. Then there will be endless zombies incoming. Graveyard, mostly those things. So I'll just snap push. Just deny them all of the resources. Because I don't really need that many turns to kill my opponent with this emblem. I guess I was actually supposed to brainstorm first. What happens if I attack with both of those? It's not even good, so I won't. I see. I see. Alright, let's. Okay, well, we can bury these stinkers somewhere. The reverse blood moon. Nah, if I well, if I drew Snapcaster a push, would have been so good. But I think I actually got impatient on the Snapcaster. Why does it matter if our opponent has depth stage? Like also most of those lists don't have depth stage anymore. Oh, I know specifically that guy almost never plays depth stage, but you're right, I could have kept the Blood Moon, I guess. Let's have some more matches. It is weird that I keep winning when you show up. I mean, the first match was still close anyways. League summary so far. Lost round one to four color pile. One round two versus uh, Bug Delver with Stifle. One round three versus Abzan Maverick.
Totally looks great. What a good doggo. What a good doggo. <laughs> Opponent deprived us of our Zomber Apocalypse. 80 20 for Miracles. Hmm. Playing against Corno Four. Keep. We're a little bit exposed to Wasteland, but I don't think you mulligan this hand. Opponents on five cards. Okay. I wonder if they'll concede to Thoughtseize or if I'm going to get Turn One Gristle Brand branded. I feel like something bad's about to happen. Okay. Or not. Basic Island makes me feel like my dual land is safe. So I'm just going to thought seize off Badlands instead of pondering for a land. Yeah, oh, he means 95-5. Yes. Uh, I need to use the restroom real quick. While this guy resolves his ponder. Opponent chose not to shuffle. All right, let's take a gander. Could be sneak, could be miracles, could be high tide, could be the epic storm. I see. Um. Okay. Meyer, duress, dark grit, wish. Should I take Dark Raid or Wish? I feel like they have more mana in their deck generally than engine cards. So I believe I'm supposed to take the Wish. Any input? I think I'm going to take Wish though. I'm certainly not taking duress, I think. I don't really care if they duress me, like. So their hands, dark grit, unknown. I feel like taking the wish is correct, actually, but. Maybe I'm wrong. That's pretty good. Teach you how to win at Legacy. Um, should I therapy the ritual now? Hmm. 
Nah, I'll wait. I mean, when I get killed this turn, it'll be really disappointing, but it's really unlikely. In any case, now I'll go this, probe my opponent, flashback therapy, and be kind of far ahead. Chrome Mox Dark Ritual. So they have three, one, two, three, four, five mana total. So they can't actually do anything threatening. What's the best draw they could have? I feel like I'm pretty safe. Should I just therapy the ritual anyways? Oh, they could draw Adnaz. Okay, then I'm supposed to therapy the ritual, I think. Do I Snapcaster Probe? Oh no, I should just Snapcaster Thoughtseize next turn. So I should attack for one, or attack for two? Attack for two. And just, oh, just attack for one. Attack for one and just bolt off Volcanic. And next turn I'll Snapcaster Thoughtseize, and that should be pretty good. Chrome Mock's cool when it exiles a card from your hand. I don't know. It's certainly a card you can try to put in your deck. So, if I play... If this is four, five, six, four damage plus four plus five, I don't think it actually speeds up the clock, right? So four plus nine is 13. Oh, I guess that's a drain too. Hmm. I can brainstorm first anyways, which is probably correct. Okay, well, that was good. Um, I think I'm supposed to actually just therapy, flashback therapy, and that probably wins the game as well. That's an infernal tutor. Okay. That was great. We should have that in. We should have these in. We can take out. I don't know why he didn't play the pedal. Um, don't want grudge. I was not going to name Abandoned Hope. Take out these edicts too. So I want grudge. Do I want Deluge to cover as well? Probably. What's up with all y'all on this Monday? We're up to 101 viewers. <laughs> Clap and hype. What's up, Quasi Moth? I think I'm gonna board like this. The problem is if you name it Wixis to people 
on the outside, it's just bad advertising. Wilson can clap all the time. Hands great. Can Wilson call in? Uh, we hadn't discussed it, but I can try to set that up after this match. Wilson said no, though. So, um, this hand's great. Can never mulligan. Hope I don't get like probe therapy for my probes, which would be pretty awkward, actually. But. I'm not gonna mulligan. Doesn't matter if people have spoken. Interesting. Interesting assertion. I'm gonna probe once, I think. Just to see if I actually need to dig. This is Wilson Hunter's deck. Brainstorm. Chrome box. Dark grit. Empty. Twix Infernal. The other reason not to use the second probe is I needed to fish the force. So. Wonder if opponent was actually supposed to EOT brainstorm. Yo, Akash, thanks for the 26 bits. Thank you, Akash. You assume we're dead? Turn one empty for six? I don't think that would have beaten us. <laughs> and the opposition of Cavern Black Ego. Mm. I feel like turn one empty for six almost never works. Like, it's just so unlikely to work. I feel like I should force this ritual actually. Yeah, agreed. And on my turn, I'm going to K command, kill the mocks, make them discard. Or I could. Hmm. Is Thoughtseize Pyromancer better? Probably. I think that's probably better now. Is Command... Command... Hmm... I don't know. Should I Pyromancer Thoughtsies or K Command the thing? Alright. I think it's close. Yeah, I want to get a clock so it cuts off ad nauseum.
think I just take the ritual, right? Let's see what happens if I take anything else. Um. I guess I could take Tutor and play around a top decked LED. I guess I'm supposed to take Tutor. So. Is it? No, it's one, two, three. Four, five, down to two would be six, right? Oh, if I take dark ritual. So should I take the ritual then? Ritual plays around Adnaz off the top. All right, I'll take ritual then. I don't really know. Like there, I think that was also interesting decision oh well, yeah if I get to untap obviously I'm in excellent shape because like they don't have much and they'll be down to two mana it's probably one of their better draws all things considering but Chose to shuffle. That's a good sign. <laughs> you hope he draws the right of flame and can't do anything. I too hope that. There was a small amount of merit to casting Brainstorm first, but I think it's unnecessarily greedy here. One of my plays is so good here to just get a clean two for one. All right, opponent conceded. We're 3-1 now. The matches with this deck take so much longer than the matches with other decks. Like, we're already two hours and 15 minutes in. I don't think I'll have enough time for a full league with this deck again unfortunately, but I do want to run another league before uh, 10 o'clock, so I'll probably switch decks. I'm not going to play Ant. I'm not going to play Land in BR either. I'd rather play Steel Stompy again. I'm also not going to play Anzi D and T. Modern League. Uh, I would prefer not to do that either, frankly speaking. Well, I tell you a bedtime story. I don't even own all of standard anymore, VEDEX. I don't know what spicy popcorn is, and it sounds atrocious, so I'm not going to do that either. This is probably a good time to remind all y'all that if you really want me to play a deck, you can donate to the cause of me playing to that playing that deck as listed below. Playing against De Playa. Wow, 
Why is this called spicy popcorn? Um, because winning is hard. That's why I didn't win. Yeah, also because Calcano wasn't there. That's clearly the answer. This is a really weird looking deck. I mean, I don't know if it's good or not, but... Uh, this looks like a cube to me. Depends on what's in your sideboard, Niraj. Uh-oh. That is bad. That's a turn late. hate these so much they're just like I can't even tell what the, this card is guess I have to force that one and all right now we're probably dead okay Plan is to draw a land, then call against command. And for opponent, have no good follow-up. Oh, yeah. I should be casting cards into Chalice. You right, fam. Uh, uh, the heck? Yeah, Anurag was correct for once. I'm not technically dead yet, I'm just in bad shape. Uh, well, we don't really have a good shot. I messed up. I was supposed to cast things into a chalice, obviously. Guess I want to put that in their graveyard. Yeah, Big Fish could have helped. Yes, I put that in the graveyard because it's just a free card for them. Hmm. Don't like that. I think we're dead now. Okay, well. That sucked. Obviously, you didn't play correctly um pretty sure i want this one this card seems pretty bad versus them pierce is fine yeah, EE e. and Chandra are probably good too. I'm gonna take out, I think, Diabolic Edict. I think it's just kind of bad. I think Lava Mancers might be okay as well. Question is, what else do I want to side out? Do I want to side out Basic Mountain? Yes, just force the Hazard. Do I actually even want to side out on a land in this matchup is the real question. The answer is probably not. Um, I 
Why are you complaining about Hazaret? That's like one of the least egregious things about Legacy. <laughs> Wonder what's the last card I should set out. Deluge is only fine. I don't think I really want to play that game. I think I just want to put pressure on them, especially on the play. So I'm not going to board in Deluge. I'm going to side out, hmm. I don't think I want to trim a probe. Is it crazy to cut the fourth pyromancer? That's kind of crazy, I think. Cut, yeah, I probably should cut a one drop. I did not say that. No trolling about that. I'm going to cut one Thoughtseize. That might be borderline maniacal, but. Yes, he was winning Surge for Scanda champs. That's, I think he was being facetious. Ooh, do I keep? I think I probably do, actually. I'm going to keep. Keep, you have a grudge? Yep. Um... Also going to fetch, hmm. I guess I'm supposed to play this no matter what and then decide what I fetch, depending on what opponent does. Crystal vein, eh? Um, I did not build this deck, Danny. In fact, the guy who built the deck is in this chat. His pack run fat seven. So you can give all the props you want to him. Hmm, so now I have to fetch a non-basic, which sucks. Oh well. I think I'm gonna get island. And Badlands. Uh, you didn't build the deck, Honorog, but good try. Opponent kept a hand that has no red mana. Interesting strategy. Make sure you get basic mountain to play around Blood Moon. Well, that's not happening. Stop adding terrible quotes. Like, those aren't even funny. What What are you guys doing? I thought I disabled... Oh, I re-enabled it because Mike Noble was the only one posting reasonable quotes. That's what happened. Shaking my damn head at you, small children. Thank you, Danny. The question is, do I play around Confluence? Well, actually, their hand is garbage it's like confluence two sin potters and mm, i grudge and i bolt okay 
I can just flash black grudge. That's five damage. Bolt. That's eight. Yeah. The 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 grudge plus flashback bolt or casting bolt is actually lethal. Um. Check out one more thoughts is on the draw. Put. Edict back in. Wow, there's so many terrible quotes. Do I even want Edict? Maybe just dead gone. I can cast it. Oh crap. That quote is pretty good. Do I want an Edict or a Dead Gun or a Grim Wobble Mancer? Someone tell me. Alright. I'll put Edict in, I guess. It's not great. Yes, I've considered Blood Moon. I considered it when you posted it right there because it's such a terrible idea. It's Moon Stompy, Danny. That sounds terrible. Good morning. All right, this is fine, I guess. It's not like exciting, but I can't like mulligan this hand really. I don't want a second one of those. That's actually pretty good. I'm not playing the EE -E this turn because they could like shatter it. Ooh! This is gonna be nice explosives. I can feel it. Get Battlelands Island. Get out. Get your permanents out. Alright, I'm going to play one more league with the Seal Stompy deck again. Because I actually like it. Yes, yeah, Steel Stompy. Legacy Shops. Oh, this was Storm Guy. I don't have a modern Grixis control list right now. I think uh, probably Cory does. If he's still in the chat. I'm going to mow in the sand. It's terrible for Storm. You know, modern the mid ranging. Thanks for the fall. Gonna mull in this hand. It's just like really not very good. Oh, t I guess I do have. It. <sighs> All right, fine, Danny. You're right. Never mind. You're right. I should keep. I didn't actually look. 
I don't know what I was thinking. I have to keep this hand. I hope I don't get like... Crushed. Ah, uh, yes. Probably getting killed on turn one instead. Yeah, no. I mean, you're right. I should keep. Okay. Right. I'll concede now because I don't want to show them anything. Very awkward. Uh, we can take out that. Can take out ballistas. I'm not gonna side in Leyline versus their version. I think it's just poor versus Storm actually, anyways, for what it's worth. We didn't even get a turn, so it didn't even matter that we had turned two loads down. Or even like a turn one Thorn wouldn't have been good enough that game. Wow, Cory's list is garbage? Why would you... Is it like actually bad or... I don't know. It's kind of mean. Kind of mean to say that, I think. How do I update the title in this OBS? It's not working. Spyglass does hit fetches, but I think that's just not good. This hand's obviously a keep. The child's on one or zero, actually, is the question. I think one is probably correct still. Spyglass hitting your fetches. This is why you should diversify your fetches in all the Delver decks. In my opinion. I think one is actually better. Oh, that sucks. D got shul. That will occasionally happen. I remember there was like an SCG where I was playing Grixis, and I had two of each fetch, but I just happened to have both in my opener. My opponent spyglassed me, and it sucked so much. It was just like incredibly tilting. All right. Hello and good luck. The Juggernaut is in the house. All right, cool interactive game so far. I don't change anything because this card is really not that great in the matchup and all the other cards are better. Yes, this, welcome, welcome to uh, some prisons, prisonings. Yeah, it did update. <sighs> nice thing about this deck is you can generally finish a league fairly quickly, so that's another reason to play it. Are you not entertained?
This hand's very bad, so I'm going to mulligan. I have not streamed Soldier Stompy. I don't think I own all of those cards, so... Probably it's not that expensive a build, but I also am just not a fan of, like... Uh, I guess... Keep... Let's see, how many Disruption cards do I actually have? my deck um four eight twelve i can also play lodestone on turn one so all right i'm supposed to leave that on top I'm actually going to play the Chalice for one off the pedals. The reason I do that is so I can leave up Warping Whale. There are 12 Disruption cards I could have drawn right there, McCullough. So I believe it was a keep. I could even cast the Lodestone on turn one, so. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, Itai, I don't think a lot of people would figure out why I did that. I think I'm supposed to just counter this. Basically, I have to counter that because it probably finds an answer for the chalice. Start attacking at the factory. I valued whale a little bit. Like it it actually does something. Sure how many one of my spells are in my opponent's hand. Alright, nice. We're doing it very slowly. Our one lock piece hand. This is the Tommy deck. My results with this deck so far have been um, three, two, four, one, and this is the first match of another league. Meltdown? Are you kidding? Ugh. I should have saved Warping Whale for that one. I did crush you pretty hard. I feel like I'm going to lose that meltdown. I am going to quarter his walk. But the problem is he can just find Battlelands, right?
No, this is X in the red. You're thinking of pulverize, I think, Joel Sani. Pulverize is four red red, sorcery, masks, alternate casting costs, sack two mountains, destroy all artifacts. I wonder if they can pulverize or uh, meltdown for one. And then kill me. You can't melt down for just zero because it'll get countered by the chalice. So they need to melt down for one. Yes, that's basically why. And also using your sideboard slots to put wish cards in your sideboard kind of sucks. Because you'd rather have better cards in your sideboard than I think wish targets. Yeah, I agree I'm likely dead, but you know, I could just hope their hands like all cantrips and nothing good. I think wishes are mostly a relic of the past, frankly speaking. Uh, he's going to kill my overseer. Okay. It's fine. Uh, that's a bad sign. Maybe I was supposed to let the first... Um, Burning Wish resolve and just counter the meltdown, but I didn't even know that my opponent had meltdown. So that's a tall order, I think. Maybe opponent has to go for Adnaz, except I think there's like a deterministic kill. Uh, so if their last card is Tutor, yeah, they can go Tutor Wish Tendrils, I believe, should be lethal. It was. Yeah, I guess if I saved that uh, Whale for the Meltdown, I would have won. All right. That was horrible. That's that's also a good matchup, but you know. Yeah, that was the reason I did it because I wouldn't have to keep leaving up two man, but I had so much man in my hand that I think that's fine. I don't know. I think it was probably a mistake to do what I did. Oof. Hmm. Seem to be experiencing a stompy problem of mulliganing. All right. I have to keep that one. I don't want that on top. Ooh, chance for the annex. Well, that's bad. Uh, well, I guess I throw. Ravager away? Yeah, I'll throw Ravager away. Uh, opponent, opponent was just Burning Wish, right of Flame Storm. This looks bad. 
Looks like I'm getting Gristle Fathered. Darn. The Chancellor of the Annex was pretty bad for us, though. Uh, no. It sometimes has green in the sideboard, but, you know. Whatever. Wester 3, thanks for the follow. Whoops, we're supposed to concede with that on the stack. But, too late. I want these. That can take these out. Can take that out. Don't want anything else. Probably not. The league speedrun is continuing to go great. Yeah, we might get uh, killed in under an hour. Yeah, I mean, I also am not a huge fan of Black Red Reanimator existing, but. Well, he sees the format where some degenerate stuff can happen. Ban death rate and stops being a thing. I am not sure that's how that works. I think there might even be an uptick in it. This hand does nothing. This hand is great. I don't want to do this. Um, I guess I thorn chalice for zero. Hmm. -mm. I have to chalice for zero first. I was thinking if I actually wanted to chalice for one is what I was actually thinking about. Ooh, that was great. Okay, well, on to game three. Hmm. Do I mulligan to a ley line since I'm on the draw? Sounds pretty mediocre anyways. Excellent. Okay, you got me. My hand is awful. I don't think Bridge is that good. If I let them reanimate Crystal Brand, they can make a Tide Spout Etai. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying, McCullough. Well, I didn't forget about uh, Tide Spout, which is all that really matters, frankly speaking. Should I waste? Probably not. It's so much better for me to draw land and have my other stuff up. This is a great game. You think he boarded in reverent silence versus me? I 
How many bayous do they have? What the real question is, if they have more bayous, that's worse. It's not even like good for me to do, I think, right? Oh, they have one bayou? Okay. I'll do it. This is a great game. This is really as magic... Magic as Richard Garfield intended it. And yeah, they only have one bayou, which makes this place so much better. Well, if people just change the list slightly, all of these things become terrible, so not really. I mean... Also, I don't really care what you take in my hand. My hand is bad. Maltzer is going to town. Maltzer is going coast to coast. I'm guessing Raptor had the third volcanic and it had punished you. This is the kind of MDG you can get behind. Uh, stern but fair. Planet took Revoker. Interesting. I'm expecting like a hard cast gristle or something. Ah, interesting. Okay, you can do that. That makes sense, actually. Uh, but Vault Scourge still wins this race, because it's one versus one, essentially, because I'm getting one per turn. Kind of wonder if my opponent was supposed to just make a Lodestone Golem, actually. Yeah, they should just make a Lodestone Golem. Wow, that was not a good plan. Yeah, I don't know. Also, the Revoker is a 1-1. One -one. That's really just not gonna win the race. <laughs> Maybe he didn't have anime dead at the time. All right, we're 1-1. One -one. That was a kind of a dumb game, actually, but you know. Thanks to all 111 of you hanging out. Well, if you get me, don't cheat. Sounds great. Joint, joint. Oh, I, I almost didn't quick join. Jeez. Uh, Blue Hen 28. Wonder what Blue Hen 28 is playing. Why cheat when you can play Gitaxian for a good call? Good call. Oh, this hand's bad, so I'm going to mulligan. Basically, my uh, metric for mulliganing is, does the hand do something broken? And this hand doesn't. So I'm going to mulligan. This is probably a keep, unfortunately. But it's not like insane. There's like a lot of decks this hand just not even good enough against. Don't believe I want a second Ravager versus like almost anyone. 
value. And there's like a very small chance I play this. Um, let's go over here. Hope it doesn't die. Uh oh. This can't be good. Oh, cool. Another reanimator opponent. <laughs> that was in tomb, by the way. If anyone couldn't see. Probably dead again. This is great. Yeah, I believe you if you get paired for a storm. We can't win anymore. Fortunately, we basically tipped our hand about what our deck does. The speech hall contortions coming out. Well, Eldrazi is much more consistent, but much higher to the ground, so. Like, this set can operate off of one land fairly easily, whereas Eldrazi is extremely weak to Wasteland. I mean, like, this deck is also weak to, to Wasteland, but not as much. Um, yeah, I keep. Gonna Chalice for one. Play these two out, and then I'm going to play Lodestone on my turn. What decks are good now? There's a few. It's true, this deck is weaker to Lightning Bolt, but you basically play all of your prison elements first before you play a creature yo b mcgrail thanks for the sub appreciate it you know we're gonna open a chest for our boy or girl or other gender b mcgrail this is what you would have opened patron of the orochi cartouche of strength it's always keeper it's just mono green pack in any case, let's get back to this. Um, pun so hard next time we play. When did we play? Don't even know what you're talking about. Lodestone is going to try to finish the game before anything bad happens to me. I'm gonna actually revoke her Chrome Mox, I think. I think I'm gonna actually revoke her Lotus Petal to just shut off all of the mana that my opponent could have. I don't need my Lotus Petal, really. I don't really anticipate the game lasting too much longer. It's <laughs> funny. Get out.
Take nine. You're probably dead. All right. Now we have to mulligan into a ley line on the draw, essentially, and hope nothing bad happens to us. So that's the plan. You know, it's good to have a plan at least. <laughs> Man, these games are so dumb. I guess it's just the nature of playing Stompy versus like a deck like Reanimator. The games are just going to be super, super, super dumb regardless. Opponent's at 61 cards now. I'm going to mulligan this hand. Especially if they keep seven, I think I just have to mull. Like, all right, yeah, good enough. Uh, don't want another. Oh no! All right, you have opening game effects. I also have opening game effects. Whose is better? Probably mine. It's bad versus Tide Spout, so I'm not a fan. Don't ask me. That's rude. It's really rude, actually. They pitched enemy dead. Okay. Took Lodestone? That's weird. Ah, oh, okay. So they probably take Thorn now. Okay, well, just run that. Um, I'm just going to revoke her. Yes, I revoke her Grizzle Brand. Or I could revoke her Lotus Petal or Chrome Mox. I'll revoke her Chrome Mox. I just want to get some attackers going. Okay. Well, this guy has seen the play. I think I might just make a token and double block. Because it's just way too much damage to take. It's pretty awkward. Great. Hypothetically, I should be I should be favored from here because more of their cards are bad. Hmm. I'm just gonna play it. It's obviously risky, but I think just not getting the creature into play is so bad. Okay, that's fine. It's absolutely fine. I'll chalice on one now. I'm not even sure why that card's in their deck versus me.
Uh oh, that's bad. Am I really gonna lose to that? It sucks. Looks like I'm gonna lose to my own lodestone. This fellow figured it out. Reanimating my lodestone is good versus me. Good beats. Okay. We have died. That was really annoying. Maybe I'm not supposed to lead in. Nah, I can't tie that lodestone. That's just ludicrous. But that didn't play well for me, unfortunately. Feel like I got unlucky there, but maybe I didn't. Like, I don't know for sure. No, I couldn't. Artifacts cost non artifacts pulse cost one more E tie. And uh working whale is definitely a non artifact spell. Now, nah, Ballista's horrendous in this matchup. Like, it's just a bad card, I think. Uh, this hand's fine. Yeah, stupid load's done. Dredge, probably. Huh. I'm just getting all of the, like... I lost that match because I didn't dredge some land. It's... Yeah, probably. Um... Don't have that many zeros. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, well, it's uh, Opal could be bad, but the problem is there's not another good soul land. The thing is, Lodestone is so good versus them if you actually cast it. Like it's ludicrous not to play it. I think. Hmm. Also, it seems like we're getting killed here. <laughs> Eldrazi Temple and my not Eldrazi deck. Good one, McCullough. Have they hit? Wow, I'm just so dead. Crystal Vein is not unreasonable uh, for what it's worth. I think that is reasonable. Yeah, where were these opponents when you were playing Rip Helm? It's a good question. They should probably name Arkbound Ravager. And they do. I think Fu Chain and Lauren are both not very good decks because of their weakness to Pyroblast. They already knew my hand from Gitaxian Probe. Itai. I wanted to see if they were going to brick. Alright, can't win. Well, I, it's not really that. It's just that. All right. I think these aren't great. These are actually not great. These are good. This is good. This is good. These are good. So we basically take out all of the prison elements because I don't think they're good. I don't think Chalice is actually that good. Um, it's good on the plate, but it's also like... I kind of would rather have the GTA, the Warping Well. I, I don't think I want to spend slots on that. That's my personal opinion, though. I'm going to name my inside on. Yeah, 
Yeah, I kind of think... Also, opponents at 61 cards again. Kind of drives me nuts when they do that. It's not weird that GTA is good versus Dredge. It's just that, like, in the grindy games, GTA is good. So... Just play some land. And don't kill my ley line. Should have revoked that all clearly. Okay, you got me with this ingage, who are. You really got me good. Don't really understand what's going on. I guess it could be Chain of Vapor, which would be kind of awful for me. That was actually an excellent draw. Our opponent has a really old dredge list, it looks like, because I haven't seen an ingot chewer in Legacy in forever. A chew number two coming. I'm gonna play the ratchet bomb and just crack it. I think I'm sufficiently far ahead that I can afford to trade everything for everything. All right, definitely don't want these on the draw. Still don't think ensnaring bridge is very good, especially now that our opponent's shown us uh, ingot truer. Torsion's fine, but only fine. But I think I would rather have it than alternative. So we'll just submit this again. So like our deck is actually pretty good in this matchup. You can control the bridges pretty well and GTA can finish the creatures. Um, Leyline obviously like good too. Am I supposed to keep this hand? Like I'm thinking. Um, seems kind of bad, actually. But, I mean, the blisters are good. But the problem is... Yeah, it's just a mall. All right, now I have to mull this one. This hand is just, like, objectively worse than the last one. All right. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Do I look for the one-card ley line and hope it's enough? It probably won't even be enough. The problem is I don't think a Leyland's actually enough, d Ruck 2, because they can just start casting all of their creatures, and then you'll die to, like, a bad draft deck. You're the first person to say that ever. I've never noticed that it's not lands. 
never ever noticed. Yeah, I agree. That's why I was considering keeping the first one, but we're trying to go for a second one. Point did not dredge. Interesting. Kind of just wait. Kind of hope they just, uh, Castle line. We did mold to oblivion. I don't know what my opponent's doing actually. Alright, cool. I mean, this is like a legitimate way to do something. Really don't know what's going on, but the apparently the spite ghost quarter might have been good enough to win this game. Uh, maybe not anymore. I don't really understand what's going on, except my opponent's just like doing a lot of nothing somehow. Like, somehow we might actually win this game. I'm going to just leave up the whale. Like, I'm going to actually exile this thing. That sucks, Soji03. This is quite the game. I name Lion's Eye Diamond. If I win this one, that would be a freaking miracle. I don't really understand why my opponent didn't aggro dredge, frankly speaking. Like, this is actually just a confusing game. It doesn't make any sense. Nah. If he therapies me with the narc, I can just respond by paying him. Which I'm fine with. Passion Rider. Yeah, that's pretty good too. Hmm. I'm not gonna sacro Luker. I'm just gonna modular onto that. I'm going to attack for three. This is weird Magic the Gathering being played. I don't really understand why my opponent hasn't killed me. Apparently the Spite Ghost Quarter basically won me this game, it looks like. Which is funny in so many ways.
this is a very silly game. I molded three this game, and we're somehow winning because my opponent refused to aggro dredge. I really just like this is like one of the most absurd games. Woo! Was it three? Two! I molded two! I molded two! <laughs> oh man. Let's uh let's finish the league out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I think I'm think I'm okay now. Nah, we we gotta finish the finish the league. Um, I believe that. Well, uh, not Wilson. Sorry, uh, Aaron. What? I don't know what's going on here. Uh, that was just, that was just so good. Uh, what's this? Oh, sneak and show, probably. Alright. I'm gonna put in both stone and hope we get Crocus next turn. Come on, Crocus! Be there! Oh, wasn't there. We're still live for a crocus, actually. Still alive to draw Caracas. Caracas! Hmm. I can see if this resolves, I guess. Yeah, if if you're playing most to one vintage, they're actually and they keep and it's a bizarre, they can definitely beat you very easily. So that's not even really that impressive. So I'm gonna block with Vault Scourge, Sack to Ravager. I 
It's kind of insane, but we're actually pretty close to winning this game. We're not pretty close. Is this lethal? It might be actually. Didn't do the math. Uh, shoot, shoot, sack is more damage. Yo, thanks for follow Bo Gilmy. I think this is exactly lethal somehow, which is insane. That's gas. Yeah, attack for 11, shoot him six times. Did I miss a point? How did I miss a point? Danny, how did I miss a point? Attacking first was more damn. Oh. Wait, isn't it just the same no matter what? I'm putting counters on the Blissa that can attack. That was insane. That's great. Just great. <laughs> mm, everything's great. Could have blessed it for seven. Yeah, uh, I guess that's true. I'm gonna take out Steel Overseer. I think that card is bad. Mm. Okay, so potentially I could have missed Lethal if it was 18. If I need 18 instead of 17. Or wait, isn't it just the same no matter what? I don't really know. Oh, it's the it's the one damage from Alright, whatever. I'm not thinking about it anymore. Um, yeah. I've had some nice games tonight. The mold to two win was gas. That game was gas. <laughs> just everything is just great. I don't know. Um, yeah, this is the keep. This hand is great. Yo, thanks for following the Neutron. You can Blood Moon me. I don't think that card actually is that good. Well, 
I guess it shuts that off, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, do I revoke her? Probably. Hmm. Do I say sneak attack? Do I revoke her sneak? Or do I just play Ravager? Or do I play Thorn, actually? Hmm. Yeah. Actually, I think it's better to play Thorn. Next turn, I can just deploy all my threats. No, if I play Thorn this turn, next turn I can revoke her sneak. I'll lead on Ravager. Right now I'll name sneak attack. Too bad the Crocus is dead. Okay, nice. They don't have it, so. We're awfully close to just killing them, I think. Force pitch show. Psycho Nightmare, thanks for the follow. Do two dead Caracuses, yeah. It's okay. Uh, Danny, that's fine. I don't know what's going on here. Why did that happen? I think I'm going to sack the opal now. It's just an extra damage. So that's lethal next turn. Yeah, this is f nine total. If you have a bounce spell, whatever. Like, what am I gonna do about it? Really wish I had something better to put in. Oh, nice, just an omniscience. Okay. Attack. All right. Three, two, after losing twice to graveyard decks. So I'm up to four, one, three, two, three, two, which is 10, five. That's like, okay. I'm not opening a chest, but um, I think now it's time to get ready to go to bed. Been streaming for like almost four hours now. Let's see who else is in. Hoggers. Who can I support? Ooh, Anton Grimes. Thanks for the um follow. I'm gonna open a chest for you, buddy. Fifteen play points. A boat to smash and a feral prowler. Alright, 
Let's see who we can support. I like no changes. I am anti-ban in general. You know what? Hello, Caleb. So, all right. Thanks for watching.